romance is in the air here at Mattern's Floral Cafe in Kingston. And we have some terrific ideas for you to celebrate with your loved one on Valentine's Day. Well, I'm here with Tom Bedford, and Tom is the owner of Mattern's Floral. And Tom, this cafe is magnificent. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, it's absolutely beautiful. And of course, love is always in the air here, right? It is indeed, yes. And uh, we're celebrating Valentine's Day today, so we're going to do a few things. Maybe explain to us about what we're actually going to be doing the whole kit and caboodle here. Okay, so we think one way to make a mark a special day is to start it off right with breakfast in bed. I love it. And one part of that we think would be fantastic is a very Valentine's-y sort of coffee drink to bring to your loved one in bed. And what I'm going to show you here now is just how to make one of the drinks we make here at Man's Floral Cafe okay. uh, for our Valentine's season. And, All right. Uh, that hopefully you can easily make at home. All right, well, let's begin. Okay, so simple glass. You don't have to use the posh ice that we're using here. We're using very large ice cubes. Mm -hmm. Any ice will do. We take some strawberry and rose syrup. This is available from Amazon. You can use any syrup you like. You could use violet syrup. You could use uh, lavender syrup, any floral syrup um, that you think your loved one will like. And we just right. pour a little bit of this over the ice. Just a little bit in there. It's very sweet. It's very syrupy. It, it um, smells great. But it smells fantastic. Yeah. It's got that lovely floral uh, note coming from the rose and then that sweetness coming from the strawberry. Just to add this chocolate flavor. And we call this a strawberry rose and chocolate latte. But our staff here like to call it, love you very much. So <laughs> I love it. You can use any chocolate syrup you like. If you okay. prefer dark chocolate, you can use that. If you prefer milk chocolate or white chocolate, that's also an option. That gives you your basic sort of beginning. That gives you your flavor to your drink. Next, we just pour in some milk. We're using whole milk, but not everyone right. likes whole now, milk. Now, is this milk steamed or anything? Or is nope, it just we're just using iced milk. milk. Okay. Nice and simple. You can use oat, almond, whatever milk you'd like and right. whatever you think your loved one will enjoy. Okay. And you're just leaving enough space for an espresso shot and some whipped cream on top. Next, we pour in an espresso shot. Now, I appreciate not everyone has an espresso machine true, at home. True, true. Uh, we do sell fabulous espresso machines here at uh, Madsen's Floral, but you don't need to use an espresso shot. You can just use strongly brewed coffee using your normal right. at-home coffee machine. Or indeed, you could go out and buy an espresso shot and, right. uh, and add that yourself. Okay. Um, so we're using an espresso shot here. And you get this lovely layering. You will want to stir it up before you drink it, but if you bring this to your loved one, just present it like this. I think it looks fantastic. Beautiful. Next, we top this up with some whipped cream, just for that nice little bit of garnish, just to really add it. Sure. That sort of wow factor on top. And we have some chocolate powder here. You can get this anywhere. An alternative to using chocolate powder is to use cinnamon. You can use conversation hearts. Oh, if you'd like to get yes. conversation hearts and garnish it with that, that's a really pretty way of doing yeah, it. Yeah, I agree. And particularly, you can spill out any message you'd like I to. I love that. The person you're bringing it to. Finally, the piece de resistance, the chocolate-covered strawberry. Now, you can buy these at Donwell Candy Kitchen. You can buy these at any number of places. Sure. But we make these ourselves. Cover it with dark chocolate or milk chocolate nice. or white chocolate. I personally prefer the dark chocolate because the bitterness works really well yeah, with the sweetness the of the sweet. strawberry. And then you can always layer on a little white chocolate drizzle. It's very easy to make at home. You just put it yes. in a pan, melt it and then you dip your strawberry in, or you can spoon over the chocolate. Exactly. Um, or to how you like. And then you have this beautiful chocolate strawberry latte. I love it. Well, we're not done because our breakfast in bed needs a beautiful tray and some flowers, right? You're absolutely right, Jackie. And we have Selena here to talk us through how to make a beautiful arrangement for your loved one. Excellent, thank you. Mm -hmm. 